in March 2024, with the support of the United States and Canada, Jamaica brought other CARICOM personnel together, along with our own forces, to begin training for deployment to Haiti. As Minister of Defense, today we announce that Jamaica will begin its participation in the multinational security support mission with the deployment of 24 personnel to Haiti to provide command, planning, and logistics support. The deployment is comprised of 20 JDF personnel and four JCF personnel. The security forces continue in a state of readiness to support further deployment towards our overall commitment as the mission in Haiti is scaled up. Jamaica has close fraternal ties to the people of Haiti, and we stand in solidarity with them. Jamaica also has a national security interest in the situation in Haiti, one of our closest neighbors. It is in our interest to support a long-lasting resolution to the problems in Haiti. Here in Jamaica, we see the growing entrenchment of gangs who organize the production of armed violence with a view to economic gain, spreading terror in communities, and weakening the state's guarantee to citizens' security. We see this as an evolving existential threat to law and order and the proper functioning of institutions of the state, not only in Jamaica, but in several countries across the region. It is a regional problem. The threat of gangs must not be viewed as only a citizen-to-citizen -citizen problem, where regular policing and the criminal justice system would be sufficient to address the problem. The threat is at a level in the region where gangs and organized armed violence they produce is a threat to the very state. Haiti is the example of what could happen if states and governments do not take the problem seriously and put in place the measures and resources necessary to bring the problem under control. I wish to thank the members of the security forces who will be deploying to Haiti, and uh, I wish them well, and obviously we pray for their safety and security.